Hey everyone, it's Matt from Akuma Mods. Um, so today I'm going to show you guys how to export your uh, your file from Prusa Slicer to slice it into Sheetu Box. Uh, this is more or less for Elegu Mars owners who are trying to use Prusa and use supports, what, whatever they want to for uh, Prusa, but you know we also have to uh, change that file from an STL file to a um, to basically like an AnyCubic file or a DLLP, wh whatever that the file name is called. It slips my mind. But without further ado, let's get into it. So we're gonna go ahead and load up our file. Uh, we'll just go. We'll pick the Cali Cube, something simple. Okay. So you have your file here. Okay, so let's say we, we messed with all our settings, we got it the way we wanted it. You could also come down here, do supports for it. So let's just do supports. All right, we're gonna do auto-generate, uh, if it'll even let us. And yeah, it's not even going to because it's a flat surface. So uh, Prusa kind of has a good slicer where it automatically detects on whether or not you uh, need to have that or not. So let's go ahead and step out of here. So in, so let's say we're done with our model. We, we've sliced it up, d done whatever we need to with it. Uh, we're going to go up to the file and we're going to export. And you're going to choose one of these three options. You're going to export plate as STL, export port plate as STL including supports. I usually just choose this automatically just because in case there happens to be any supports that are not showing it's already on there. So we're going to go ahead and export our STL and we'll do Kelly cube new new. Okay so that way we just know that that's a brand new file. So we're going to go ahead and hit save and then we're going to come over to our she two box slicer and we're going to go ahead and open up file and we're going to do Cali cube new new. Okay. So as you can see, there's already supports added to it. All right. So even though it wasn't showing us anything, there are supports on it. So, and you can add more supports to it depending on what you want. Uh, might be a little bit overkill, but if you're worried about, you know, something not coming out correctly, you can always add your supports in here. We're just going to leave it for the time being. And then you're going to go ahead over here and you're going to slice. Obviously, you want to make sure that you're in your uh, correct setting. I only have this set up for the Elegoo right now. So um, we're going to go ahead and slice it up. It's going to take a little while to slice the model, depending on your size, how much you're doing, whatnot. And then it's going to give you all your information, what machine it's on. Mine is the Elegoo. Uh, what type of resin you're using, the volume, height, price, range. Uh, that's an estimate. Uh, and then your time for printing, which is going to be 3 hours and 36 minutes. Obviously, you can change that depending on what settings you use. So once we're done, we're going to go ahead and save this file. And as you can see, it automatically uh, changes it to the CBDDLP. And then you go ahead and you save it to wherever you need to. We're not going to do that. We already got it ready to, to go. Um, but go ahead and save that to your SD card or your USB drive, whatever you're going to be using to uh, transfer that onto your Elegoo Mars. And then once you got it onto your Elegoo Mars, you go ahead and you hit the print and it'll show up in that print box. And that's how you guys do it uh, to export a file from Prusa Slicer into Sheetu Box. So again, very, very simple uh, setup. And, you know, uh, Prusa does have a great slicing program. So I do suggest uh, taking a look at it when you get the chance. Um, and then... Uh, you know, go ahead and play with the Shitu box and see which one you like better. I personally like the support structure on the Prusa slicer a little bit better than Shitu box. Uh, it seems to, at least with the automatic generated supports, be a little bit better. 
on it, but uh, you still do need to add manual supports to it uh, in order to gain that area of focus that you're going to be using. So that's pretty much it for today. I hope you guys like this. Uh, if you guys like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We're going to do some more videos on this stuff uh, down the road, and uh, just stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching.